Hey everybody, uh, tomorrow is a very big day for Major League Baseball as the 2022 Baseball Hall of Fame election results are going to be announced. It will be 6 p.m. Eastern on MLB Network. So, something that I've done over the last few years is, if I had a vote on the committee, on the Baseball Writers Committee for the Baseball Hall of Fame, who would I vote for? Now, I'm going to go by the rules that are in the voting. And that is, you can vote up to 10 players. That's the max you can go for. So, I did my research, looked at each player, each individual. Some popped out more than others. And in the end... I ended up going with nine players. I did not use my full ten. I ended up going with nine, which I was a little surprised with. And some of them are going to be controversial picks. I'm, I'm sure, you know, they will be. But these are the people, these are the players that if I had a vote for the Baseball Hall of Fame for the class of 2022, these would be the individuals that I would give a vote to. And this is going to be done in alphabetical order. So the first person that I'd give a vote to is Barry Bonds. He has a 298 career batting average, over 2,900 hits. He's like 65 short of a 3,000 club. Has the best OPS that's on base plus slugging of anybody. That's a 1.051 OPS. Uh, 762 career home runs, 7-time MVP, 14-time All-Star, 12-time Silver Slugger winner, 8-time Gold Glove winner, and a 2-time batting champion. And I really believe, even if he had not used the steroids, he would have been a Hall of Famer. I think now you have to put him in. Just, I mean, the stats are right there. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they vote. The next person that I would vote for is Roger Clemens. 3.12 career ERA, 354 career wins, over 4,600 career strikeouts, an 11-time All-Star, 7-time Cy Young winner, 7-time ERA champion, was the 1986 American League MVP, won the pitching Triple Crown two times, and is a two-time World Series champion. Next individual that I would give a vote to is Todd Helton. Todd Helton has a 316 career batting average. I believe that is the best out of everybody on this list. 2,519 career hits, has a 953 OPS, 369 career home runs, five time All Star, four time Silver Slugger winner, and a three time Gold Glove winner. Definitely has the numbers to make an argument. For Todd Hilton to get in. Next person I'd give a vote to is Tory Hunter. 277 or 277 career batting average, 2,452 hits, 793 OPS, 353 career home runs, a five-time All-Star, nine-time Gold Glove winner, two-time Silver Slugger winner, and really one of the more popular players during his day playing baseball. Next person I'd give a vote to is David Ortiz. 286 career batting average, 2,472 hits, a 931 OPS, 541 career home runs, a 10-time All-Star, 7-time Silver Slugger, 3-time World Series champion, and was the face of the Boston Red Sox for over a decade. He really was the heart and soul of the Boston Red Sox. Next person I'd give a vote to, this one may seem controversial, Manny Ramirez. 312 career batting average, 2,500 plus career hits, 996 OPS, 555 career home runs, a 12-time All-Star, 9-time Silver Slugger, and 2-time World Champion. Should be in based on the numbers. Next vote I'd give is to Alex Rodriguez. 295 career batting average, 3,115 hits, a 930 OPS, 696 home runs, 
a 14-time All-Star, 10-time Silver Slugger winner, 2-time Gold Glove winner, 3-time MVP, and a World Series champion. He produced everywhere he went. Next person I'd give a vote to is Scott Rollin. 281 career batting average, 2,077 hits, an 855 OPS, 316 career home runs, a seven-time All-Star, eight-time Gold Glove winner, Silver Slugger winner, 1997 National League Rookie of the Year, and a World Series champion. Next person I'd give a vote to, even if he didn't want it, he'd get my vote anyway, Kurt Schilling. 346 career ERA, 216 career wins, over 3,000 strikeouts, a six-time All-Star, three-time World Series champion, and should I mention the bloody sock in 2004. I think that is all that needs to be said. And my final vote for this year, if I had a vote for the Baseball Hall of Fame, Billy Wagner. 2.31 career ERA, 47 career wins, 1,196 strikeouts, 422 saves, and a seven-time All-Star, one of the best relief pitchers of his day. So those would be the people that, if I had a vote, would get a vote for the Baseball Hall of Fame. I'm sure some of you will disagree with my picks, which I'm totally fine with, totally understand. Leave a comment in the comment section below, and check out my video tomorrow night where I'm going to go over the results of this election for the Baseball Hall of Fame Class of 2022.